check this out. We have a simple web application which basically takes our input here in the slash check. First things first, it checks here whether the input exists, whether we entered something, and if it does, it basically tells us that these are the bad patterns, which are these symbols right here, and we don't want these in the string. So what it will do is it will go through the characters which are banned and basically check whether our input includes these. If it does, it will say found bad equals true, which basically means that we will get bad input. Otherwise, if it doesn't, it will just take create the safe input and basically slice the string from zero to first 10 characters. So it's extra safe and basically return it because there is no way you can put malicious XSS payload in these 10 characters. Now, would you believe me that hackers are still able to bypass this, even though it seems so restricted? Well, in today's video, you're going to find out. And maybe just maybe if you want to learn hacking, then check out my course, which is down in the description box below. Okay, so you might be wondering what this index.ejs file is. Well, it's nothing. It basically prompts you to enter your name. Once you do, it, you click submit and it's basically gone over to the check, which is basically here. Now, uh, let me take a let me take a look at the actual page. So let me just go here and there you go. enter your name. So enter something like test and you click submit and oh, wow. Wait, what the hell? Why is it like this? Ah, uh, uh, I know it's because uh, I just fixed the, this bug and there it is. Okay, uh, continue and boom, test. So if you want to enter test, test, which is 10, eight characters and then one, two and then three, you should see three doesn't even exist. I hope so. Yeah, there we go. So it strips this string into very small like amounts, like 10 characters only. And there is quite frankly, no way you can put a malicious access payload within these first 10 characters. Or can you? Well, I don't want to like basically reveal the entire video here, but let's go step by step to analyze the code. So the code is very simple. I've already explained it, but I'll go over some key parts. The bad patterns array contains these two elements right over here, which, you know, are bad, of course. And whether this works, we can test that out simply by just trying to enter in an image like an image click submit, ah, bad input. And there is no way you can fool this, right? Well, some of you might already understand what can actually be going on here. The ominous includes function. This function is very bad in many ways because, you know, type confusion in JavaScript is a thing and I already talked about it on my channel. But today I wanted to actually touch up a bit on it because there's there has to be like some confusion about it because I've seen the comments. People are kind of confused about it and how actually bad it can be. Well, in this case, the dot includes function basically checks whether our input contains any of these characters. Why am I why am I talking about type confusion? What, what am I even talking about? Well, from the security standpoint, I can show you by clicking right click inspect and again going over to the console. Uh, let me show you what that means. So let me zoom in this a little bit. Any anything in JavaScript, for example, a string can, can be containing data can be containing like one, two, three, four, for example. And then I can just say dot includes and this now will return either true or false, depending on what I enter. If I say one, it's true. Uh, if I say nothing, then that's true again. But if I say five, it will say false because that's just how it is. And even if I was to say this character, it's false. And now if it does include that, it's true. So how can we bypass this if this includes function is flawless? Well, some of you already know, but if you do an array dot includes, it becomes a whole different thing because an array can actually contain, let's just say we check these characters all the time and the array doesn't contain that. And let's add that character to the array and boom, true. So what am I talking about? Well, let me add something to this, to this thing. Let's just say test, like an entire element. Uh, all of a sudden it fails to check that because includes function is very silly at times and it can be called on strings and arrays at the same time while it checks this for in the string checks its presence in the string in the arrays it actually does something else it checks whether this exists as like a child in the array as like an element in the array so for example if i was to call this again it will say false but if i just create a little element which contains this then it's going to be true so now that you understand that, it's just a nice little recap. How the hell are we going to be including or basically getting an array here when we obviously are form data away from basically exploiting this? Why did I choose forms? 
Well, you cannot genuinely enter JSON here unless there's some bad parsing by the backend. But we can see something interesting. App the use express JSON is present. And let me tell you, this is not the vulnerability. That's the using this will not make your web application vulnerable. You programming it down here can, but this itself, it's not bad because let me tell you, Discord, Instagram, Google, all of these big platforms use JSON data to transfer data here and there. And it's not bad. It's just the type confusion that's bad because you need to always check the types and make sure everything is a string if you're expecting a string. So we can definitely bypass this because we can enter an array. How? Well, let me show you. This is how it looks on the back end. Well, kind of like in the burp suit. We can basically enter something here in the input, like test one, two, three, four, click send, and it will tell me, hi there, test one, two, three, four, because that's my name. But if I enter an image and click send, bad input. Now, let me tell you, if you want to have XSS here, it's probably going to be stored, not reflected XSS, because you cannot reflect an array. If you trick a victim somehow to reflect an array, then I don't know, that's just a bug on the browser. But again, this is not for reflected XSS. This is more for a stored XSS, but you know, it paints a better picture anyways. So now that you understand that, we can basically enter an array here like this and enter an image like so. Boom, look at that. So click send and there you go. This means that we entered an image and I think render will allow us to see that. And there you go. It just says hi there and there's nothing here because believe it or not, th there's an image there. But if I want to basically now put like something bad here, how can I bypass this slice thing? What is this? Well, believe it or not, dot slice can be used on a race too. And it's definitely a an interesting one, sort of say. Uh, I'll actually make a couple of more videos on this slice thing because there's so many exploit vectors. It's absolutely insane. But let me show you what I mean by what, what I mean by that. Um, slice works very similar. For example, let's say you have test one, two, three, four, and you do dot slice. You can basically slice from zero to three characters and it will just say test or zero to four and it will say test. However, if you have an array which has uh, maybe one, I don't know. So you have one, two, three, four in the array and you do dot slice. You can see that you can do that. And from zero to two, it will two, it will take first two elements. From three, it will take first three elements. To four, it will take first four elements. So basically, effectively, if you enter an array, this will won't do anything. And believe it or not, you can now just go here ahead and just say on error equals alert one, even though this exceeds the 10 characters limit, it will just happily be reflected back because as seen here, it will just slice from the zero to the 10th element, which will basically include the entire array. Simple. So now that you understand how this basically is bad, how do you fix it? Simple. Check whether it is a string. Somebody is entering something, basically check if it's a string. If it is, then, you know, work with it. If it's not, reject it. But trust me, regex here, use re don't use includes. That's just bad and just put it somewhere. And input.slice, don't use that either. <laughs> it's not really intended to be used on strings, but it can be, which is, you know, it's, it's a bad, it's a bad take. But this, I've seen big websites use this and I've exploited this in a while in the bug bounty quite a lot, a lot of times. So I will make another video on this just so you understand everything. So yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.